What is up dudes? Welcome back to another video here on the Dude Gaming Channel. We are back here on the Starfield. So in the last video we figured out who Starborn were and uh, we ended off where we're about to start where we try to go steal an artifact from a rival Constellations got the rich of the righteous. Don't want to worry anyone. Captain Petrov owns a salvage. Yeah, yeah, we got all that. Reached out through my think we're gonna need. Left the life of it, not sending you. Catch a smile out there. All right, Andrea is now our follower. Travel to the scow. All right, looks like we made it to the scow. You, you don't have business with the scow. Our captain is not taking visitors. I have business with Petrov. You it's important. That's all you're here for. All right. I'll clear you to dock. All right. Let's do this. All right. We made it on board with fine Captain Petro. I'm surprised there's no one here to meet us. This, uh... We'll let you on board. But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Oh, yes. The Rock. He's not selling it. But if you want to hear him laugh in your face personally, go right ahead. Well, now we all understand exactly why we are here. Go on then. Petrov's got a whole little alien zoo in the back. He's asking for trouble with those things. But the locks on the cages are pretty high end. I guess we could ask him. You want to talk to Petrov? Trade it for it. Some dusty hauling ore from the fringe. <laughs> Was glad when he left. Ew, all shakes and shuddering? Interesting. Good lord, the ship's a little confusing. What in the world? Whoa! I uh, was. N what? You oh, know, the god. Ah! If it were I wasn't aware we had the visitors. Why did you didn't speak. tell me we had visitors? <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent! Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax! Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. The artifact? Ah, you must mean my latest curio. I have never seen anything like it. Intricate pattern details, a metal that feels soft to the touch, yet bears not one hint of wear or tear. Ah. You are out of luck, my new friend. I cannot part with it. I know, it's a fickle man who falls in love so easily. But what can I say? Mi amor. Mi amore. Tempting. I do love showing off. I'm not. Mm. Oh ho. And we have to have four plus. There we go. Oh, you're right. What? Ah, very well. What's a quick look going to hurt, huh? I know. People look at me and say, Pedro, your, time your whole ship is a testament of splendor. Why do you need a special vault? This is crazy. I can say that even the greatest collection needs its own private viewing area. Plus, between yeah, he's all talking in the background and I'm ignoring completely. We got some rocks. Wow, he has some very interesting things in here. Just a bit further. This ship and I have been through some adventures, I'll tell you. It looks like I it. I once collected salvage from a Deimos Celestial class while it was exploding. 
the crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally steered us into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repair. You know, people say he's mad, but I like Petrov. Runs a good ship. Dang, where is this thing? Looks like we gotta go down into another part. Andrea, this might be a little hard to steal without killing people. Well, hello. Oh, there it is. And now, the moment itself. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. That holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my... Why, yes, he did. Oh, no. No, no. And it's only fair to warn you. Hands off. Let us deal with one moment at a time. I'm afraid not. Then I suppose it's just a question whether my immeasurable love... Go ahead. You severely overestimate your... I have things I wish to discuss with you. When you have time. Once Wait! I we surrender! I surrender! Don't kill me! Given the events up until this point? Done! Stand down, everyone. Let the nice pirate pass. Can we speak for a moment? Uh, can we... get off this ship before we... we speak, Andrea? It's over here. Emergency. All right, we're gonna get off the ship uh, and get ourselves out of here ASAP. All right, made it back to the lodge here. Love hole 32, awesome. Vladimir, Vlad, come in. I knew, I knew something bad was gonna happen. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. No way. Starboard. I freaking knew it. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left. Said he was going. To... Sarah, she's she's still breathing, but oh god, oh, all that blood! Hello, constellation. Are you there? Who are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! He is right. We leave the artifacts, the Starborn will have them. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. 
So, if people didn't know, I think I read about this accidentally. This is the part where if you, I'm not leaving anyone, I'm going to the eye to rescue our friends. One of the companion dies if you do this. And if you, it might be too late, we need to stay here, protect the artifacts. If we do this, then another companion dies. So it just depends on who, I'm not gonna say, we're just gonna do this mission, but it might be too late, we need to stay here and protect the artifacts. I would probably do this anyways, so. I have your back. I don't know how long it's gonna take to pack up the artifacts. I, I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes if my hands can stop shaking. All right, let's get all the artifacts. To take cover. Where? Do you really expect them to barge through the front door? Just be ready, Walter. Could you all keep it down? I'm trying to work here. Dang, we have a lot of... Walter! Are you all right? Tunnel to the well district. Come on. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is pretty intense. What in the hell? So I noticed this was down here. Of course, this would be why. I'm gonna wait till everyone gets through. Is that everyone? All right, let's go. Alright, we made it down here into the well. This is, uh, what the hell? Pretty crazy. Is that everybody? Where's Barrett? There's Andrea. About killed them. Everyone in the well is uh, running for their lives. Yo, why is UC security shooting me? Why are you shooting me? It's literally the hunter. It doesn't work on him. Yeah, Vasco, get his ass. Alright, Vasco, let's go. Alright, so are we getting back attacked by the UC security just because we actually hit somebody or what's going on? Here's the hunter. Dude is ridiculous. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't really have anything. Especially with the UC security attacking us, and I don't want to kill any of them. So. Come on, Vasco. Come on, everybody. Get in the ship. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. So yeah, I had to pay $20,000 for something I really didn't do. So that's unfortunate. Oh no. Sarah! Sarah, we're here! We're here! You... you gave me a home, Sarah. Another chance. Don't leave me now. She's... Uh, she's gone. We are undone. Constellation has lost a part of itself. We cannot change that. You're... alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. No tears for the old. Who else was up here? Oh, Barrett. Okay. I admit, uh, my famous personality wasn't so much help with this one. I'll be fine. I just uh, need to. Dang. I really messed up on this one, friend. Usually the last guy to get out drawn. Back at you. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be moving around. So, like I said in the last parts, it's either Sarah dies or Barrett dies, so. Vladimir! Oh, thank goodness! Gone. <laughs> we uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the eye are not secure. Got the right of it. The hunter, he um he, he probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area. Just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. 
So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grav drive to anywhere. Here. Keep the artifacts safe. I guess... we'll meet back at the lodge after? You can now build the armillary on your ship or at your outpost. To build the armillary, you go to the new armillary screen inside your ship's cockpit. To build the armillary at one of your outposts, go to your outpost and enter the build mode. There will be a new quest category that gains armillary. Okay, so we need to board the ship. You can now move the armillary. Starborn attacks are more likely when the armillary is placed. If you choose to keep the artifact in your inventory, then attacks are more likely everywhere. Let's see, let's see. So it said Sarah's belongings were put down in the basement. Sad. I don't like that. We got Sarah Morgan's outfit though. This place. Shoo. If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but... Why not talk to him? and it would seem there is nothing to lose in doing so. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. Alright. Alright, made it over here to this guy. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Oh, Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Oh. Yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. It's giving me a lot uh -oh. to think about. Enter the Sanctum Universum. Alright. Now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. 
Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code? a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave. I agree. I think you need to talk to them about this unity pilgrim. Interesting how three groups clearly, have not different just in a theological sense, parts. as I have. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis Helping the poorest citizens find a better... Varun worshippers are more enigmatic. But there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him right. a few more questions. So we need to go talk to a prisoner and some people down in the well. Right, we run a number of social to this guy from financial aid to food banks. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, you're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim, but since you both insist. Our early records are mostly administrative, humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to... Alright, so not too much to go off other than a Drifter. I guess we need to go talk to the Varun prisoner now. It is my favorite Saw your ship come in. What is a Varun prisoner? A visitor? I have all the company I need. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. The great serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Yes, I have spoken to your keeper about this. 
I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down, but the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Then we are done. So there's a drifter, there's an unbeliever. Hmm. I wonder if it's obviously the same man, probably. Hey, what's up, Keeper? Oh, well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Just Before more. you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. And so you think this word unity describes a similar miracle? The processes of the universe are all in accordance with some greater intent. Well, I won't keep you any... Yeah, let's go to Endum 2. All right. Looks like it's over this way. At least there's some, you know, foliage on this, uh, this planet. It looks like we're like, kind of out in a desert or something. I guess we need to run all the way over here and, uh, figure out this pilgrim's rest. Alright, we made it closer. Search for clues on Unity. I'm assuming he would be dead by now, right? Unless he is starborn and uh, they live a very long time. I don't know. Alright, so what is this? A windmill or something? You know, this abandoned homestead is actually rather charming. Yeah. Hmm. 
Looks like he had a nice little place. He's talking about unity in his writings. Book number two. And this is the Frontier Attire and credits. Sofa. So this is like a little bathroom. Access the locked room, search for clues. Yeah, for sure. All right, so in each book that we picked up, we'll have to answer each question. People are necessary, but people are madness. Myself. And in stopping, it embraces compassion. Yeah, let's start over here. Credits. And final writing. On Hyla 2, the island hides the scorpion and the scorpion sting hides the truth. Interesting. So I guess we're going to go to the scorpion sting on Hyla 2 now. Alright, so we made here and what is this? Those are starborn ruins. You see that, right? We have to get a close-up of that statue. Wow. This is really pretty. Wow. What in the world? Whoa. More of these things. What is this? Activate the glyph. Go to the last star of the... Okay. Okay, so after doing that, we have to... Go somewhere else? Ah, I see, I see. Oh, wow. Well. It's time to board the Scorpius Starborn ship. Alright, Starborn. Hello. Again. <laughs> Do you remember the Emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix. 
I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You. Me. You killed Sarah. The emissary. I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. You've really come a long way since the Welcome to Constellation speech, haven't you? Wait, what? I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. Huh? That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <laughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he This walked, is so confusing. Give up to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who has seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Bingo! I want a truce. Between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the Unity is the one you want. Mine, or the Hunter's. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. 
talk to the hunter, talk to the emissary, or leave the Scorpius. Oh man. Oh man. So the hunter seems like he's a little more wants to kill people, like he killed Sarah or our Sarah. And this one's a little I'm bit sure more, you have more peaceful. I know we are not the same people we met in our universes. Still, it's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can be. Interesting. You, the emissary, and the, whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose... There are no rules. I don't kill for the unity. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking for... Yeah, I don't I like admit you getting this guy. Has been, as soon as I realize... You're not authorized to pilot the ship. Well, it's a pretty cool ship. So the only... Huh. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Alright, um, so... That is a lot to take in, not gonna lie. So Starborn are reborn people from other universes, through the multiverse. That's that's a lot. Um, but I think this is where we're gonna end our video. It's unfortunate Sarah died. I picked Sarah to die over Barrett just because we were, we've done Sarah's back mission and whatnot, and we hadn't done Barrett yet, so I wanted to hold on to that. But anyways, I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of y'all for watching these videos, and I'll catch y'all next time.